Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to my channel if you are new, and if you are, definitely hit that subscribe button. And if you aren't new and you don't already have your post notifications on, go ahead and turn those on so you guys can get notified anytime I post a video. Today I'm doing a Sephora haul. As you guys probably know, the Sephora sale is currently going on. You can get up to 20% off anything in Sephora, which is a really good discount, especially on the higher priced items. I honestly don't remember the last time I bought makeup or skincare, so I thought I would kind of just go a little bit crazy and get everything new and just really like refresh everything that I had because I just felt like I was, you know, kind of like plateauing. Like my makeup looked like okay, but I knew it could just be so much better. I've been obsessed with like scrolling on TikTok and watching makeup tutorials and everyone's makeup is just so perfect. And I was like, I need this. It's actually funny because I saw this one TikTok of a makeup artist doing this girl's makeup and I thought she looked so beautiful. So I was like, what do I need to look like this to the person that was helping me at Sephora? And she came in clutch. She gave me some skincare recs. She gave me makeup recommendations. I immediately came straight home, played with all my new makeup and skincare and I felt like a million bucks. So I want to not only share with you guys what I got today, but also share with you guys the tips that she told me. My skin is normal to dry, but obviously going to the winter months, it's gonna be super freaking dry. Um, so I definitely stocked up on some skincare that will really put the hydration back into my face. So I'm really excited about that. I guess we can start with skincare since that is like the foundation. And I've realized that it is actually the most important thing when you're doing your makeup because I have this problem of my eyelids being so patchy when I put concealer on them and then I set them with my powder and they were just like really patchy and then my eyeshadow wouldn't go on smooth and I was just like how do these like people on YouTube have these perfect matte lids that literally look like a piece of paper that they can just blend eyeshadow on. I was like, how do they do that? And then the girl that was helping me told me that it's actually because my eyelids are dry and that I need to be moisturizing my eyelids. So I was like, yeah, I mean, I put moisturizer on my face, but she said that I have to actually like get like an eye cream, which I actually had. So I started using that and it made the world of a difference. So, all right, let's get into some skincare. Let's start with this one. It is the Youth to the People Superfood Firm and Brighten Serum. So it says it has kale, tripeptide 5, vitamin C, hyaluronic acid. And I feel like I was taking a lot of recommendations from my sister, which she does have good recommendations a lot of the time, but her skin is very different from mine. She has acne and I don't really get acne as often as she does. And her face is very oily, so I was trying to tell the person that was helping me, oh, like my sister recommended this, and she was like, well, that's not really good for your skin. And it clicked in my head that our skin is very different, so I probably shouldn't be, you know, taking exact recommendations from her list, but it did help me with the brands I wanted to stick to. But anyway, so this product, she said, is good for just putting the hydration back into my face. Um, because I know a lot of like serums have like AHA and BHA and she said that I guess I don't really need that because it's like a resurfacing thing for people who have acne. I don't know if I'm like spitting this out right. She recommended this product because I have a lot of discoloration in my face and there's sometimes just like really uneven spots. It'll be like whiter right here and I just like don't know how and why. If I'm remembering it right, you put on this and then you put on moisturizer and then you put on sunscreen. So speaking of the moisturizer that I'm supposed to be putting on after that serum, I have moisturizers laying around in my house, but I kind of wanted to try something new since I was at Sephora and they obviously had the 20% off. So she recommended this. It is the Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Moisturizer. And I actually used this a while ago in college. And I guess I just like kind of like trying different brands. So I didn't stick with it, but I have been using it for the past two days and I'm obsessed with it. First of all, I forgot how good it smells, but it also makes my skin feel so moisturized, but it's not thick. It's it's more on the gel side, I would say, but not even gel, because sometimes gel just does not sink into my skin. It would just like stay at the surface of my skin and kind of make me feel more dry than moisturized. But this stuff is amazing, so I'm really glad that she reintroduced me to it. I really don't get acne that often, but when I do, it's literally like the week before my period. I just get one random pimple, and I just can't help 
but pick at it. I feel like everyone has this problem, but I'm just like, I'd rather have a scar than a bump, but I feel like I just need to get over the fact that a bump's on my face. So for the scars, I asked her what would be good for that. I wanted like a spot treatment kind of thing. So she gave me this. This is the Murad Invisa Scar Resurfacing Treatment. I've only used this one time so far, and obviously this is a product that you will see the results kind of over time. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated about this, um, but I'm excited to try this out just because I feel like I don't have any spot treatments um, in my skincare collection. I purchased two things from Sephora literally the week before without knowing that the Sephora sale was coming. So I thought I would just, you know, kind of group them into this haul. This is the Laneige Sleeping Mask. I feel like this product right here is so well known. It usually comes in the pink package, but I thought this time I would try a different flavor. So this is lemon sorbet. And honestly, it does not smell very overpowering. I feel like you can really only smell it in the packaging, but like when you put it on, it doesn't really smell like anything. So that's kind of nice because I didn't want it to be like too overpowering and give me like a headache or something. Cause I do love Glossier's bomb.com, but I bought the mango one and that one is just a little bit too overpowering. So that was it for skincare. Let's get into makeup. I'm so excited to show you guys this new foundation I tried out. For the past, I want to say like two years, I've been using a drugstore foundation. It is the L'Oreal Pro Glow. And honestly, it is such a good foundation, especially for being at the drugstore, maybe like 12 to $14, depending on where you buy it. But of course, bringing it back to TikTok, I'm watching all these girls with the most perfect matte skin. And I was just like, I feel like my makeup just doesn't look like that. And I want it to be perfect. So I decided to pick up the Airbrush Flawless Foundation from Charlotte Tilbury. And you'll notice that I have a lot of stuff from Charlotte Tilbury because I feel like it's just all over TikTok nowadays. I don't know if it's just on my For You page, but I'm just seeing it everywhere. I honestly can't remember the last time I bought a foundation at Sephora or just like not a drugstore foundation, but I would probably pay $100 for this because it is that good. It is a matte foundation, so she recommended to me to put like not a matte primer, so nothing like Benefit's Pore Primer, but I have been using like a Laura Mercier kind of like a jelly primer and just like a moisturizing primer and it works so well together. So this will be my new foundation favorite and you guys will be seeing it in the vlogs. I just feel like it makes my skin look literally perfect. Ryan actually walked in after I was done with my makeup the first time I put it on and he was like, you literally look like a porcelain doll. I was like, yeah, I know. Like it was so worth the money and I'm so excited that I freaking found this thing. Um, and then getting into concealer, I just wanted to try something new. I have been using the Tarte Shape Tape since I don't even know when, like so long. I don't even know, did I ever use a different concealer? So I kind of wanted to try something new and I love hearing Sephora employees recommendations. I just love learning about skincare. I like hearing what they have to say about the products and just like learning what's in my products at home. So I decided to take her recommendation and I got the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I honestly thought it was a foundation when she brought it out because it's so thick. I feel like this is definitely gonna last me so long. It says it's super coverage and I got it in the color golden beige and I forgot to tell you guys this color. This is in Cool Freud number 12 for the Charlotte Tilbury uh, foundation. So hopefully that helps you guys if you're like my skin color and you wanna order it online. But it is really helpful to go in the store and just like have them color match you. I never do it by myself because I don't trust myself. Um, but I did use this concealer obviously for the past three days and I really like it. It's definitely thicker than Tarte Shape Tape. This one is another product that TikTok made me buy. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. And I'm pretty sure the TikTok I'm referring to is a makeup artist that works for Charlotte Tilbury. So obviously a lot of products was from that brand. When I saw this girl's makeup, I was like shook. Give me everything, put, add to cart, like put everything in my basket. I've been using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder in Honey for a really long time. And honestly, it's amazing. I love it for a loose powder, but this is actually a pressed powder. And so I wanted to try it out. I thought it would be cool. And literally I swatched it in Sephora, put it on the back of my hand. And I was like, wait, what? Like my pores? disappeared and it's honestly perfect especially if you need to just touch up during the day i kind of wanted to buy two i know it sounds crazy but i just wanted to like have one at home and then one if i needed to take it to go but unfortunately right now i don't have that kind of money so maybe later on but seriously try this baby out 
I don't think you'll regret it. I swear this is the last product from Charlotte Tilbury, but this is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This is actually the product that I bought um, a week prior to the sale because I saw a TikTok about it and literally she swatched eyeshadows on her hand. She sprayed this on and the eyeshadows like did not move. And I was like, I need a setting spray because I feel like I've been just using kind of like refresher spray. And those kind of sprays are really good for just kind of melting your makeup into your skin, but not setting it. And I need that because I have orange makeup all over my face and my boyfriend always wears like white shirts or like not even a white shirt, but my makeup will get everywhere. And so I really needed this shit. Let me know if you guys have tried this because I feel like this is like the new big thing. Hello, future Sonali popping in because I am dumb and I'm literally missed out on two whole products. So coming back in the video and showing you guys these two. They're actually both from the brand Lawless. Let's start with this one. It is an eyeshadow palette. It's called The One and the colors in here are beautiful. It honestly really reminds me of my Sephora Pro palette, which I really like, but unfortunately I can't travel with it because the top of it, like, I don't know how, but it broke off. Um, so I decided to pick up a new eyeshadow palette because I haven't done it in a while. And I just really vibed with these colors and the mattes in this palette. I feel like a lot of palettes these days have so many shimmers in them and I'm more of a matte girl. So I decided to pick this one up. And then I got this bronzer from Lawless. I have been using the Huda Beauty Tantor Contour Cream, which I absolutely love and I still love. I'll probably still use it. But honestly, going into the winter months, I just want to look bronzed and not just like very contoured. I don't know. It's a very different look. It's like a summery, like sun-kissed look. So the girl at Sephora recommended me this and I'm in the color Blazed. It's just a velvet matte bronzer and there's no shimmers in it, which I really like because a lot of those sun-kissed looking bronzers have those like tiny shimmers and I, I just don't like that. All right, back to the normal video. The last two items I got are lip products and I honestly did not need any more lip products, but I was like, why not, you know? So I got this lip liner from Makeup Forever. I'm actually wearing it right now. You can't really see it because I didn't put too much on, but it is 608 Limitless Brown, and it is a cool toned brown. Honestly, on my lips, it does look a little on the purple side. I'm not sure if it's because I mixed it with this gloss. This gloss is from Sephora Collection, and it is in the color Hashtag Blessed 110. And I feel like it's just a little too pinky, but I really like the formula, so I might get another color in this gloss. But back to this pencil, um, it can actually also be used as an eyeliner, and I'm really into brown eyeliners. So she definitely sold me on it because it's like two birds with one stone kind of thing. That wraps up the Sephora VIB haul. I hope you guys got some inspiration on things that you can pick up during the sale. Again, the highest discount you can get is 20% off when you're VIB Rouge. And if you're only an insider and you want the 20% off, just ask around to friends because I bet you can find someone with the code. To be honest, I haven't shopped at Sephora in so long and I'm not even a VIB Rouge. And that is where having an older sister comes in. She gave me her code. So Nisha, you can't and clutch. Thank you. If you guys want any other recommendations, go ahead over to my Instagram. I have a whole story highlight of products that I've been using for years, hair care, skincare, makeup. So definitely check that out. All the swipe up links are attached to those stories. And I'll also have all the links that I've talked about in this video. So you guys can shop those links. I feel like I don't say this enough, but the links down below are always pretty much affiliate links. And I do make a little bit of commission off those links. So it really helps me out when you guys purchase from those links. And for all of those people that already do and already have purchased through my links, I appreciate you so much. So I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.